This is the Little Flower Daycare Center starting operating last year in January 2009. reason why we started the daycare center is because there were many children that they were loitering in the streets. So we feel that we must start something for them. At Little Flower Daycare Center, we're having a number of 60 learners between the age of one to four years. We're having a number of five staff members, three teachers, including myself. I'm the supervisor, two practitioners, the teachers, one cook, one administrator. We are qualified to do the job. We did receive the training from the Center for Social Development, CSD at Rhodes. We are trained as from level one to level five in early childhood development. When the learners are here at the Little Flower Daycare Center, we are following the daily program. It is starting from half past seven until two o'clock. In between, there are stimulating activities. Specifically, if I can mention, during the morning ring, it's whereby they sit down discussing. For instance, now we're talking about the transport. So it's by that time the teacher is discussing the theme with the learners. Then after that, they just go to their different tables. On that table, it is the creative activities, painting, drawings, collages. All that activities are relevant to the theme of the teacher. That vegetable garden belongs to my mother. Now that we are providing the meals for them according to our menu, then my mother allows us to take some vegetables there. We provide the meals for them starting from the breakfast. They just get the porridge as from half past eight. Snack time, it's at 10 o'clock, they get bread and juice. We start giving them the lunch around about half past 12. The potty training I belong to the children that are not in nappy. So we just train them because it's not comfortable for them to be in the toilet. It takes us only two to three months. Then after that, the, the learner is ready. Most of the equipment at the preschool, it's the donations. For example, the outdoor equipment was donated by a professor at Rhodes University via to Center for Social Development. The challenge we're facing, it's a Makana municipality because the preschool, we do have a site at Lengelise. We did apply for it long ago. It was in 2008. So we did follow all their procedure until today. They didn't respond positively for us. We are using this RDP house of my mother and space. It's not enough for the learners to be free enough to do whatever they want to. We are waiting for the municipality to help us. The co-owner of Pick and Pay, John Campbell, met with Lungim Twala and has since taken up the initiative to collect donations for the Little Flower Daycare Center. So put their food items as well. So most of the market, not everybody's got appliances or yeah. furniture. Or something. But somebody may say they've got an old desk or something or whatever. Yeah. Years During the month of November, a trolley will be placed at the front of the store where donations of food, stationery, old toys and blankets can be placed.